But in 1973, when the phrase Big Brother made people think of George Orwell rather than Nasty Nick or Chantel, the closest most viewers could get to television was watching it. The only way of breaking through the screen and joining the fame game yourself was the game show. Lie is the name of the game and I want to play the game with you. It just captured the, the, the imagination of people because, of course, I think we all saw ourselves as trying to take part in it. And I want to play the game with you. Gentlemen, gentlemen. And welcome to the Generation Game. Nice to see you. To see you. <laughs> no! Nice! 45 seconds to make a lovely poodle right now. The Generation Game, which started in October 1971, was in two senses a family programme. It aimed for TV's Saturday night dream of being a cosy, roaring fire around which relatives could gather. Let go, let go if you haven't finished it. <laughs> But the families didn't just watch, they took part. Four teams of two, related but with different ages, tested memory and dexterity against each other. Let's meet the eight who are going to generate. One of the main elements of, uh, of the Generation Game was the idea of the competitors being family. Uh, you know, two, like a mother and a son, or a father and a daughter. And that did actually strike a chord with everybody, I think. The way they behaved with each other and, and the way Bruce Forsyth exploited that situation. Yeah, all pretty right. good, pretty good. All right, all right, OK. You loved it. Take your hands off my of <laughs> Now you have about a minute and a half to make fools of yourselves, <laughs> starting from now. The programme relied on familiarity, catchphrases repeated each week, and two standout challenges, learning a new skill against the clock and a well-remembered test.